Alex, you would think that this time in October you could leave the house in like a cardigan sweater. Uh, uh, yeah. I made that mistake this morning and I never wore the cardigan. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, so our temp our high temperature is pretty close to average. Our low temperatures are above average. Yeah. So typically we should be somewhere in the 50s this time of year, but no, we were waking up in the 60s and I've been determined to get a camera shot with everything moving and I think we got oh, yeah. it. That looks great. Yes, yeah, <laughs> take a look at the Ferris wheel, the swings behind it. The only thing that's uh, that's not going is this little spinny thing here. And you even got stuff moving down there. So a fun afternoon down in Perry. 80 degrees, the current number right now. Feels like 82. Dew points at 64. So not as humid as yesterday. Still just slightly sticky outside. Take a look at radar. There's absolutely nothing going on across central Georgia. And we're not going to see much in the way of activity over the days ahead. So temperatures upper 70s, low 80s. 80 Warner Robins, 81 in Macon. 79 in Cordell at this hour. 70, 79 as well as in Butler and in Thomas. And take a look across the southeast. Look towards the west. Some clear skies. So as we go through the days ahead, that's what's headed towards us as we're sandwiched between the low here off the Carolina coast and the front there in the Midwest. So let's go through future view tonight. Just a few clouds and then tomorrow morning waking up, going to work, going to school, starting in the mid to low 60s. I think we're going to get a few degrees cooler than 65 here in Macon through the afternoon hours. We'll begin to see the clouds build in, but no real chance of rain across central Georgia. The same for Monday evening as well. Then we just do it all over again on Tuesday, 7 a.m. Waking up slightly warmer across central Georgia and that's going to be the trend through the week warming each and every day all the way to the end of the week. So let's go long range. This is just the European model. This is Wednesday afternoon dry across central Georgia, but watch up to the north and west. We get something developing Thursday, Friday. That would be our next cold front that would begin to approach over the weekend behind it. Some cooler air. So the end of next weekend and the start of next week. So a week from tomorrow, we could be dealing with a lot nicer temperatures across central Georgia. But in the meantime, warming up up to about 85 by Friday steadily increasing each day as we get into the middle 80s. Quick check of the tropics. We do have a 20% chance of development as of 2 p.m. with this cluster of storms here. That was at 50% yesterday, so all in all going down. And the hurricane season, yes, we're still in it. We have one name left, and that is Wanda. So we'll be watching for Wanda in the weeks ahead. Hurricane season officially runs until November 30th. All right, so if you headed out to the fair tonight, here's what to expect. An overnight low of about 61 degrees. That means cooling from the 70s down into the 60s across central Georgia. Mostly clear skies. The sun will set here in the next, uh, we'll say, less than an hour, probably 50 to 45 minutes, officially at 7.07 tonight. Then for tomorrow, warming up once again, a high temperature of about 82, partly cloudy skies. No weather concerns if you're headed down to Perry tomorrow. If you're doing anything outside tomorrow, it's going to be a fantastic day. The seven-day forecast shapes up like this. We are going to be steadily warming, like I've been saying, a fantastic Columbus Day with a few clouds around the region. But then there's that front for next weekend. And I want to caution you about next weekend. It's written in pencil. We've got a lot of fine tuning to do with the forecast on when the front moves through, how much rain, if any, it would bring. And when does it clear out? Will we clear out for Sunday? Will the temperatures actually be in the 70s? That's something we're going to be working on. All right, Connor Hines, I heard you got up early this morning and had your crumpets and tea. Alex, I did not have my tea and crumpets, but the Falcons certainly did. They head across the pond to face the Jets in this year's 